All right, in the last video, we installed PFSense. Um, right now we're going to install Windows Server that will run on the internal network, so on the LAN side of that PFSense that we set up last time. So again here, I'm gonna go with a new virtual machine. This one is gonna be for a Windows Server. And I'm going to do Microsoft Windows, and that's going to be, we're gonna use Server version 2016. And this is the ISO that I have, so that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this 2048 recommended memory size. It might be a little low, but I need to run that PFSense at the same time. And this computer doesn't have a lot of memory on it, so we're just gonna stick with that. Normal size is fine, dynamically allocated. There's no particular fancy options here. What we do need to do here though is, I got two things to do. One is to change the network here. This one notice is saying NAT. I need to change it to this internal network on Windows Server. I also need to change, so we have something in the optical drive. We'll just fix that again. Can I do that right there? Oh, look at that. There's a little shortcut I can do. I'll hit that. It's gonna be INT NAT. And we're gonna flip this optical drive to, this is my Windows Server ISO. Okay, now let's uh, fire it up. And we'll boot from the optical drive. All right, there's nothing particularly special about what we're doing here. We're just gonna view, let it view the English. We're gonna install it. We can say we don't have a product key. I'm just gonna do this in evaluation mode anyway. I'm not gonna be using it for very long. Make sure you pick here desktop experience or you won't get a desktop. You'll just have a server running with no desktop. Very excited about the license terms. And we only want to install Windows on that newly created drive we just created. And now we wait. All right, so I skipped the rest of that install process and now we've ended up at this. Uh, the next prompt you should get should be uh, putting in an administrator password. Right here, I need to emphasize this needs to be a password you can remember. Just we gotta pop in the keyboard capture. It also needs to fit the Windows complexity requirements. So there's our password, now I'm gonna hit finish. Now it's going to let me log in. Uh, notice here I've already got a problem. This is probably going to say my network isn't working. So what's happening there actually is I'm going to need to start up my PFSense. So I'm just going to flip out of here. I'm going to start my PFSense. That's going to boot right here. I'll just let it run over here in the corner. Over here, if you're on, a virtual machine where it says press control alt delete i'm having to go up here to the input i'm typing or clicking keyboard and saying insert control alt delete it also says i can use host delete um, i'm on a tiny keyboard anyway but i need to insert control alt delete i can't type it on my keyboard and i need to type in the password i created earlier and now we should be ready to go uh, once this PFSense uh, starts back in properly, then my network should be working. One of the things I don't actually want to use is the Internet Explorer installed here. All right, do I want to allow my PC to be discoverable? What you'd want to do here actually is say yes, because you want this to be recognized as your public network. Okay, don't say no, or as your private network, sorry. If you say no, it'll create it as if you're on the internet anyway. And then since we're running a server here, there's a lot of uh, security things that it likes to implement. For now, I'm gonna close the server manager. 
I'm going to click on this network here and I'm just going to troubleshoot this just for grins because it should actually work now that the PFSense is running. And then we hit close here. And now if we open Internet Explorer, and actually the first thing we're going to go ahead here. Um, oh, this is always a dilemma. What I'm actually going to do is hit OK here, and I'm just going to download another web browser. I tend to like Firefox. And you'll notice here there's about a thousand little issues with the way Internet Explorer wants to deal with this. So I love things like this. Content is being blocked from Bing. And we'll add Bing to our trusted list. And we'll close it. And we'll add that thing there. Some of this stuff I don't need, so I'm just going to find it here. I love this. Your browser is out of date. It wants you to switch to Edge, and I actually don't like Edge either. So we're going to go to Firefox. I don't need that either. We're going to have to add this to our trusted zones. Then we're going to download Firefox. Come on, where? There we are. We'll probably have to do some more trusting. I have to add this one. And oh, it should be downloading again, but we may have to hit that button. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and let's just actually save this. Hopefully we can be done with uh, this Microsoft browser. Is it going to work? Running security scan. While this is running the scan, I'm going to note here just the default setup of PFSense is what enables this to run. And eventually what we're going to have to do is uh, do some things to PFSense that make it so it won't run anymore. We're going to install our Firefox here just so we don't have to deal with Internet Explorer. And in fact, let me close these things in the background because I don't think I need them. All right, while this is installing in the background, I'm going to flip over to the PFSense console. Notice I'm being careful not to click inside where the text is because that will capture the thing. The inside, the LAN address here is 192.168.1.1. And there's a thing called a web configurator. You can see things like web configurator password, restart web configurator. This is what we're going to connect to in Firefox. So if I go into Firefox, we're very happy with this. Okay, I'll just close that. Now we're going to go here. I'm going to type in that IP address. So there's the PFSense IP address, and I hit enter. PFSense is using what's called a self signed certificate, and so it gives you this error. It's not trusted. I am okay with this because I know I'm connecting to PFSense. All right, now I need to log into PFSense. Default username here is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is P-F-S-E-N-S-E, -S -S -E. that is all lowercase. Now, I don't need to save this because besides that, I am wise to change it. There's a lovely little, um, set up here and you actually don't need to do any of this so you can actually I think I can just get started on what I really want to do which is, is kind of mucky with some of this other stuff okay but this is the PF sense I'm connecting to I'm just gonna page through this wizard though uh, this is some pretty normal stuff one of the things you actually want to do 
is put a primary DNS server in here. So this should be the DNS server on your network. And the one I want is called 10.0.1.1. It'll come up later as an issue in the way we want PFSense to be configured, but for now we're just gonna type that in there. The times server, we're okay with that. For now, we're going to use um, DHCP for the interfaces. What we do need to do here is uncheck this box. Right now I'm gonna click, just notice we look over here and I accidentally hit my button there. So here my, my WAN side is 10.0.1.something. My LAN side 192.168.1.something. This 10 network is actually a private network. And so if this box is checked, there is no access allowed from outside. So I'm gonna uncheck that box. I'm gonna do it right now just because I can. And we've got some other stuff to deal with later. LAN interface, I'm gonna leave it as is. You might need to put your own in Uh, the admin password, let's set it to something properly secure. We're not going to save that either. Now we can reload. It shouldn't do much over here. If it was doing something significant, you actually will see something happening over here. But now we're done, and so we can click Finish. Very exciting user agreement. We're gonna accept that just like everyone else does. I don't really feel like doing a survey, but here's sort of the, um, I don't know, verification that everything's sort of running. I actually almost never look at this page on my PSense. But okay, so this is, the, now the Windows is set up, it's connected to PFSense, and we're sort of ready to I don't know, go and do some configuration. All right, I'm gonna stop this video right here, and then we'll continue with another topic in the next video.